Hi everyone. In this video, you will see the false prime implicant, essential false prime implicants, redundant false prime implicants, and selective false prime implicants. In the previous video, we have seen prime implicants, essential prime implicants, redundant prime implicants, and selective prime implicants. So, what is the difference between the normal prime implicant and false prime implicant? False prime implicant is the one which is made up of zeros. That is nothing but max terms. Okay. But whereas in the previous case, we have seen a prime implicant where it is, which is mapped with min terms. Which is mapped with min terms once. Okay. This is mapped. This has to be mapped with zeros. If you are mapping with respect to zeros, then we call that as false prime implicant. False means zero. True means one. Okay, true is not mentioned in that name in the prime implicant normal previous case, but here it is that is prime implicant. This is false prime implicant. Prime implicant is the one which is made up of ones, and false prime implicant is the one which is made up of zeros. Hope you understand. Okay, now so false prime implicant is nothing but the max terms are called first of all the max terms. are called false prime implicants false prime implicants the prime implicants obtained by the prime implicants the prime implicants obtained by using the max terms obtained by using the max terms are called are called false prime implicants false prime implicants The false prime implicants, the false prime implicants which contains, which contains at least, at least one zero, which cannot be, which cannot be covered by any other false prime implicant is called is called an essential false prime implicant an essential false prime implicant i will write fully essential false prime implicant okay these are the definitions. The one we have seen in the previous case, like essential prime implicant, where we have defined at least one one which cannot be mapped with other prime implicants. The same here we are replacing with respect to zeros. So false prime implicant is nothing but normally we are grouping that. And that is false prime implicant. If you are having a false prime implicant, say such false prime implicant where at least one zero cannot be mapped with other false prime implicants then we can call that particular false prime implicant as an essential false prime implicant essential false prime implicant so let us consider an example f is equal to consider f is equal to summation of min terms see here min terms 0 1 2 3 8 sorry 4 8 12 okay this is the example given to you and you are asked to find false prime implicants essential false prime implicants false prime implicants essential false prime implicants uh, find essential false prime implicants essential false prime implicants but it is given in terms of min terms and you are asked to find the 
essential false prime implicants essential false prime implicants are because of zeros that is max terms not min terms that's why which are the given min terms need to be get max terms okay other than these min terms are max terms so 0 1 2 3 4 5 4 is there so 5 6 7 8 is there 9 10 11 12 is there 13 and 15 these are max terms for the same given f hope you understand how to write max terms from the given min terms now this the expression for this one is okay when you map that in the k map you will get b bar plus c bar a bar plus c bar a bar plus d bar b bar plus d bar okay now let us see the k map A, B, C, D, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Now, 5, 6, 7, 4, 5, 6, 7, next, 9, 10, 11, 8, 9, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, 13, 15, this is 13 and 15, 13 and 15, okay. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14 is also there. Sorry, 14 is also there. 14 and 15. We forgot 14. 14 and 15. Here it is also there. So, see here, we can map first these four. These four as one set. Okay, all four, four, four combinations will come here. And these four as another set. And again, these four one set and these four another set. Okay. Now, see all these individually which cannot be mapped with other ones. So, that's why all these individually essential false prime implicants. This zero cannot be mapped with other zeros. So, that's why it is essential false prime implicant according to the definition of essential false prime implicant the max term zero has to be covered with only one prime implicant it should not be covered with other prime implicants okay so at least one should be there so this zero has to be this zero is covered with this particular mapping and again this zero is covered with this particular mapping so it is another essential prime implicant essential false prime implicant and again regarding this also it is essential false prime implicant and here it is also this zero is covered with only this particular mapping it cannot be covered with other mappings that's why it is also essential false prime implicant okay so the expression for this one is what we have got already b bar plus c bar See next one it is a bar plus c bar writing expression i have explained already in the previous cases i am not uh, explaining that now i am explaining what do you mean by essential prime implicant only essential false prime implicant prime implicants okay this for what we have written here okay then what do you mean by redundant false prime implicant A redundant false prime implicant is nothing but which are already covered but again if you want to map then it will lead to redundant false prime implicant so redundant false prime implicant redundant false prime implicant redundant false prime implicant okay so redundant false prime implicant for example for example i am taking f is equal to f is equal to 
summation of m of 3, 4, 5, 7, 9, 13, 14, 15. For the same first we need to write max term combination 0, 1, 2, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Now take K map. map all these max terms okay see whenever false is there in the term then you have to work with zeros max terms 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 <clears throat> now according to that 0 1 2 it is 6 these two and these two now see here, when you are mapping the essential false prime implicants, this is an essential false prime implicant and again this is an essential false prime implicant and again this is an essential false prime implicant and this is one set of essential false prime implicant. This, there are four essential false prime implicants. This is EFPI and this is EFPI and this is EFPI essential false prime implicant and this is also another set of essential false prime implicant. These four are fine. Suppose still if you want to do, if you want to show what do you mean by redundant false prime implicant, this zero, this zero can be mapped with this zero and similarly this zero can be mapped with this zero. Okay. This is known as redundant false prime implicant. This is this set is known as redundant false prime implicant because this zero is already covered in this particular essential prime implicant. This zero is already covered in this particular essential prime essential false prime implicant. But still, if you are doing one more set that is a redundant one, which is not required actually. Okay, that is called as redundant false prime implicant. And coming to the last one, selective false prime implicant selective false prime implicant. So selective false prime implicant take the K map. See for example, f is equal to a comma b c d is equal to, it is given that summation of mean terms is given 0, 4, 5, some 10, 11, 13 and 15. For the same, the set of max terms are yielded as 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12 and 14. So, take K map. And map all these A B C D zero 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 one 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 zero 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 one 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 zero. Now see here if you map all these zero zero and it is zero here zero zero. This is 0 and here, here it is here. Okay. Now if you see, let us first mark essential prime implicant. As we are having four combinations here, take essential prime implicant. I am drawing it in terms in red color. This is one essential prime implicant. Okay. Essential false prime implicant. Essential false prime implicant. What about the remaining? Remaining all can be obtained by like taking selective false prime implicant. Selective false prime implicant because see this zero, this zero has a chance to cover with this one and with this one. And similarly, this zero has chance to cover with two different zeros with this one and similarly with this one okay it cannot be it cannot be a 
essential prime implicant. It cannot be an essential prime implicant because see the difference here is if you see this essential false prime implicant, this zero, this zero, one of the max terms in this particular group. Okay, this zero cannot be covered with covered with any other zeros except this particular group. That's why it is an essential false prime implicant. Whereas in the remaining cases, it is not the case. This zero has two uh, two chances. This zero is having two chances. This zero has two chances. And every other zero is having two minimum chances to cover with. Okay, that's why they cannot be called as an essential false prime implicant. And similarly, this zero can be covered like this. And this zero can be covered like this. Okay, that's why they are not essential prime implicant. That is fine. But to cover this particular zero, we have two chances. We have two chances. We can take this one or this one. And similarly, for this zero, we have two chances. This one or this one. And similarly, for this zero, we have two chances. This one and this one. For this zero, we have two chances. This one and this one. Again, for this zero, we have two chances. This one and this one. That means for every zero other than this EPI, EFPI, we are having chances. Selection should be there. We can select any one of these. That's why all the remaining all are, all remaining are selective false prime implicants. Hope you understand what do you mean by selective false prime implicant. Selective false prime implicant is the one which is having multiple chances. We can select the extracted max term. Okay, but whereas essential false prime implicant, we don't have any other chance that has to be taken as it is. That is essential required. Okay, this is about selective false prime implicant. Thank you.